everyone, it's Kathy with Plan Happy With Me. If this is your first visit here, welcome. Today we are going to be working in my vertical twin loop planner I use as a journal um, for the week of 213. Now there are so many challenges out there with regards to Valentine's. Some uh, Mambi, the HPFP group, which is the Happy Planner Facebook group. Theirs is called Valentine's. Um, the HP TNT challenge is called Pretty in Pink. Um, the Love Notes is from A to Z Planner theme. And um, Hugs and Kisses from Decorative Planner challenge. And then, um, yeah, so there's a lot of um, titles that this would fit in that that challenge. So we're just going to get right started with it. I'll show you the parts for today. We're going to be using a printable from Design Lovely Studios. Um, she does designs for the big, which are hard to find in the first place, but I think hers are just stunning. Um, we're probably going to use uh, anchor boxes from uh, Mojo Jojo in the gray. I'm really hoping one will be a close match. And then um, Caliva Plans Bright Basics. She has this very first cherry red collection that I think is the closest I'm going to get in all of the books that I have. Um, it's still a little bit off. It's not quite deep enough but all of the others were way off so we're going to see maybe if we need ones from this collection we might use them i did find two quotes that i might use i don't use a lot of quotes in my journal although i should use more um mostly because my journal is about writing and so i don't use a lot of quotes except for maybe in the sidebar which I have nothing for the sidebar today. So I'm not sure how we're going to deal with that. Um, this is going to be very loose and on the fly, guys. Because I am having, um, I guess you could say technical difficulties. I can use the internet. I can stream. I can go to Facebook. I can go to YouTube. I can do all sorts of things. The minute I go to upload videos, my whole internet shuts down. So we are hoping that it's not on our side, that it's on our service provider side, um, and that it will be fixed in a few days. So you're probably going to see most of my videos a little bit late. I'm still going to post the finished pages in my Facebook group and in my Instagram. So you know they're coming, that I haven't forgot, um, but the videos are going to be late until I can figure out a way to upload them. Okay, moving on. So, um, this di designer actually creates date covers, and um, I love date covers. Usually, I don't print hers because I can. She never has a square edge, and I don't. I can't cut them to be kind of fun like she has them. But in this particular instance, I went ahead and um, cut them, and uh, her dates are separate so that they match. So when you put them on. They kind of just blend in and you can't really see. Um, and here again, she designs for the big so it fits. And so we're just going to use them. Uh, the main reason I went with her date covers this time is I felt like I didn't have enough stickers to do this spread. And that I still kind of feel I don't have enough um, stickers. And that's kind of why I pulled a couple of quotes because I feel like um, that they may help me finish or fill in um, what is missing. So we'll see what happens here. Be patient with me. <laughs> okay, sidebar, I don't know what's gonna happen with it just yet. I have that washi tape that I love that covers the whole sidebar. Um, here's a perfect example of it right here. So we'll wait and see what happens there. Um, you know what let's just do it let's just put it on there see how nice her sizing is I'm kind of thinking I want to put that one in the center here um, but let's go ahead and put that washi on let me grab it and I'll be right back okay so I have three in the size that I want to me this looks scientific 
looking. So I don't use this very often, um, but I, I do use it from time to time. And since this is kind of love lettery, um, uh, almost vintagey, I don't want to use the math one. So then I have these two here, and it's really, really subtle, but this is like tea stained. And though I think that could match some of the like red work here, I kind of feel, yeah, I'm going to go with this one. So uh, those are the three that I have. I did get them from the washi tape shop a million years ago um, when I first started buying everything because I thought I needed all these things to make the pages. And one thing I have learned, let's see, this is what, my fourth, fifth year of Happy Planner? Um, that one thing I have learned is that... Um, I didn't need all that stuff in the beginning. Um, the washi, sure, sure. Um, I don't use it very much anymore, very rarely actually. Uh, I do like washi though, and I think the main reason I don't use it is um, I don't feel I have enough choice. I have quite a few, but it always seems to not be what I need when I have it and I'm at the point in my um, happy planner quote career that I'm not going to buy stuff random. I, I need to use what I have and if I can't use it then I'm going to go without or print it or do something like that. What a difference. Love that. That is perfect. Okay, so now that we're just going to, these the beauty of printables is you can move it all around until you figure out how you're going to do it and then place it where you want. So I want to use these because they're going to give me that color I feel I'm lacking. Now if you look really closely, I felt that these hearts were very random, but now looking at them again, they almost look like they're supposed to go like that, which isn't going to work. Well, it could. I don't know. We'll see. We really wanted it to go and I don't want to repeat this so you know we're going to use it this way and we're just going to go with that they're random <laughs> okay I think we're going to go on top because I don't want to go right down the center of everything and I think here we're going to go on top and they're going to give me a little bit extra so if I need to reinforce something I have it we can put this here. Remember in my journal, I need two boxes every day for journaling. Um, so, and I don't like anything floating on the page. It has to have an anchor. So we're gonna go like that. And now the ladies, the last thing, oh, I have one more piece. Um, I have these two pieces here which we could come out from the sidebar with. Um, they're not usable, but uh, so can't write there. Um, but I do kind of like that. I'm kind of thinking, okay, that gives me two. This is three, two, 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 two. So this is working. The three thing is throwing me for a loop. I wonder if, what about a quote? I have this in love with life sticker. Um, it's more pinky orange than um, uh, the cherry red that I need, but I felt like maybe it could work for us. So let's see, what if we put this one here? Put these two boxes and put this one here. And then I have this one that again is that pinky color um, that just says, follow your heart. Okay, that's working a little bit. That works a little bit. This is good. We have two, 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 kind of two. This one would be short if I stick this out here. So what if we stuck it back a bit? more into the 
um, sidebar just more for decoration put the quote more on the top than through the middle and then uh, I don't know if I like this coat on here. I may have to go find another one because I like the black. And I can't get it. Oopsie. Can't get it on here square. Yeah, I think it looks funny. What if we were to move the gray and the pink? Swap them because I think that's the reason I don't like it. Is and then the gray and the gray would be more farther apart. So let's do that. I do like that a lot. Okay, let's put a sticker down here. And what if we just put this up here? Yeah, I like that better. I think this needs an anchor, is why I don't like this. So let's pull out a couple of gray boxes and see how that goes. Um, I think I want, uh, I'm really hoping that the gray is going to work. I may have to use the dark one. Um, what if we used a double box here? And let's see. Make sure that's in the right way. Okay. So we're going to put those two stickers over here. Let's push it down a little bit so we have room for the quote. And using this will give me a line to balance that quote on. And then we can do this. Hmm thinking like that more like that I don't know if that's the right gray I think it needs to be darker and then we will put the quote here like this yeah the anchor box helped but I don't know if that's the right color I do have the darker gray so let's try that Thank you for being patient with me, ladies. You know how I am about color. And, um, Mojo's does not like the guides. So, thankfully, it wasn't on there very long. I can get it off. I do have a piece of wax paper here. So, let me grab that. And we'll see how that works instead of the guide. Because... Her stickers do not like the guides. Okay, so let's try to put this back together here a little bit. This is going to go here. This might have to have an anchor down here. I'm kind of hoping not. I'm kind of hoping that that red work is going to be the anchor. And then, um, so we're going to put this one here. And then... Um, Let's see, we're going to put the wax paper down, put this piece here, put these two pieces, um, we're going to go with the gray on the top, you see it's not the right gray, and it's too green, and then the quote on top of that. Yeah, I am not sure I like that gray color. So, I'm going to put you on hold while I do a little bit more, um, what's the word I want? Digging to see if I can find the right gray. Hang on. Well, I went with the cherry color from Calava Plan, and I think we're going to go with that over that gray. I think that is a much better choice color-wise. And I turned the box um, up and down rather than across because I think that um, it just seemed to blend better. So there you go. Now we're going to work in this corner. We're going to stick with that same color because we don't really have a lot of other options. And I want to put um, a box behind the quote because it's just hanging out there. 
and I'm not sure that that's gonna what that's gonna look like so we're gonna just kind of play with this and see what we get and then it'll be time to put it all together once we get what we want and I'm not sure how Kel's stickers like the, the guides so we're gonna see what happens here okay so because sometimes her guides are right on and they don't have a problem and other times her guides are yeah screaming at me so what or the guides are screaming at me because they don't like um her stickers so i think what we're gonna do is something like that and i kind of like it that looks good okay so then the last thing is this one and i don't know if we want because i have nothing to go with it it is what it is and i'm not sure if I like it like that, I think it needs something else. So, I don't know what that something else would be. Because I can't really go up or down because I need my two boxes there and I still have two boxes there. So, I don't know. What if we move it up? What if we move it up? Oops. So we, we know what we're doing down in this corner. What if we move it up? What if that sits there and we move this up? It's got a lot of that going on, huh? Okay, so what if I put this here and put that in the middle? I like that better already because that is the anchor for that. Okay, so we're going to put this back on here now. And see how this looks with that might have to put that up higher um, you know what we're gonna pull it out because I really wanted it in the corner and I'm using classic size guides here guys only because that's what I grabbed quickly and that just I have the big ones I just was lazy okay so we'll put that on there I'm gonna squish it over a little bit so that the quote is more in the box okay so that box needs to come down but for our purposes we will just do something like that no that, that's not going to work for me either i need to see it visually down further okay and these lifted really good so we're going to push this down push this on here kind of like that and then we're going to put our quote here and there we go what if we move that up there we go so i'll put that more in the corner though and then we have this so we have this blank spot here which mm, is not my cup of tea so but i still have my two boxes two boxes two boxes two boxes so i think we're going to go with that um not thrilled with this down here so um the one thing about the twin loop is you're kind of limited of stuff around the spine as much as i love the book part of this and the fact of how it looks on the shelf um there are some things about it i don't like so i won't be using a twin loop again um what if we put two of these here and don't put one on the other side? Um, because uh, I like things down the spine. Now, when I do a floral spread, I, which I have not done in a long time, I am going to try putting um, some stickers. Okay, I like that a little bit better now. So if I do that one is crooked um if i yeah i like that better i like that y coming out of the box now is this too plain i don't think so maybe it needs an anchor box i know ladies i'm so finicky i shouldn't be it's just a sticker placement my sister recently said something to me that I don't think I'll ever forget. I just slap it on the page and however it looks, it looks. <laughs> I wish I could be like her. Um, 
actually, I think I'm okay with that, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, let's see, do we have, we don't have two boxes here by bringing this all the way across. So that, that would be a problem because of this corner down here. Okay, I'm going to put you guys on hold while I reconfigure this. Hang on, don't go anywhere. Okay, I'm back with a redesign that I guess I can live with. <laughs> I was going to totally change everything and uh, kind of have. I'm not thrilled with it, but I like it better than what I had. So we're going to go ahead and start laying stickers down. I already did this corner. I felt like I'd taken up enough of your time today. And so we're going to quickly add these other um, pieces to this side and hopefully we get something that we end up liking, right? Okay, now this has to be cut. So where is my blade? And usually I don't, I always regret cutting this freehand, but I'm going to dry it anyways. There we go. Hey, now maybe we can use that piece and I'll be happy. I don't know. We'll see. And then this piece here, the main reason I want this piece to go on the 14th is that is Valentine's Day. So we're going to overlap it a little bit like that. And hopefully it will still um, be okay when all is said and done. I know I shouldn't be so picky at just how it goes, right? Okay, let's see. I can't see with my big hand in the way. Okay. Hopefully that's on square because it's really hard to see if it's not. There we go. Okay, so it is crooked. Now that the book is straight, it is crooked. But it's going to have to stay there because it's really hard to lift those um, shiny paper stickers. Okay, so now what I want to do is go over here into this corner. But I feel like maybe... Maybe, maybe this could go up here. Okay, I want to do this corner because this is the one that um, I think it's going to make where this one goes. So we're just going to start. I am going to push this pretty far over to the side because we have those boxes coming out. I don't want it to line up right across the top. I think that looks funny. So we're going to put a little bit of a gap. We're going to line that up and... It's a little bit crooked, but at this point, we're just going to say it is what it is, Kathy, and you're just going to have to live with it. Okay, and then um, we're going to put these two pieces, red work and gray, I think we said. Uh-oh, I think I put, them on the wrong, put this on the wrong side because I want to put this was supposed to go in the box like this. And you know what? It's still going to go in the box. It's just going to be on the other side. There we go. And then um, we're going to put this here. And this one underneath it. Okay. You know, once you figure out what plan that you like, it goes together pretty quick. It was just, I was really struggling with the plan. There we go. And I want the flowers to be on the bottom. Yeah, because the hearts would be upside down if I didn't. I think this needs to go over a little bit because the E on the end is in the red, making it hard to read it. So we we'll just... I'm gonna go like that. There, that's a little bit better. Okay, now we're gonna go back down to this cluster and it's gonna go down here. I have two, 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 two. So this is the one that's a little bit short, but I think it'll be okay. So now the question is, do I want to use this piece of washi? I think the answer is gonna be yes. I'm going to put it like that 
And then we're going to put this one up and put this one over it. Now, I don't like that gap, so maybe we'll put a bit down. And you guys can't see. So this has been a really good exercise today, huh? So I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I'll just undo this. And thank you for your patience, ladies. I hope that you found that frustration happens to all of us. <laughs> And that um, you still want to come back and see what we'll get going in our next few weeks. Um, if you like this video, please consider hitting the like, the subscribe, ring the bell, um, all those good things. Leave me a comment, there's an emoji, and let me know that um, you're out there so I can say hi back. Okay, now one last sticker and we are done. Woohoo! There it is. Two boxes, two boxes. This one's a little short and so is this one, but we are going to let it go. I love that washi on the side. That never disappoints. And with that note, ladies, I'll say have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.